time that you can have. And um, the couple's um, photo on the cake is quite a common trend for engagement cakes. I haven't seen that a lot for wedding cakes. Okay. Okay, you're listening to an interview with celebrated cake designer Mary Reed from Maryvale Cakes and Crafts. Mary's got a special uh, bonus that she'll be sharing with us towards the end of the interview. Now, Mary, can cakes be transported? Is, is it a matter of finding a cake decorator in my local area or can I look out, out elsewhere? No, cakes can be transported, but again, the decorator has to work very closely with the couple to make sure that they've selected a design that will transport well. And um, uh, in the transporting, you make sure that the cakes are packed on rubber foam and in Perspex boxes, and that the, uh, box themselves, the boxes themselves are packed on foam in the back of the car. We transport cakes all over the east coast of Australia, and um, <laughs> no time like the moment for a commercial. We use Greyhound. We find the Greyhound coach lines are absolutely brilliant with our wedding cakes, and in uh, 20 years, we've never had a breakage. Oh, I'm sure Greyhound will appreciate the plug there, Mary. <laughs> uh, look, on your website, Mary, at uh, www.maryvalecakesandcrafts.com.au, yeah, you have an FAQ page for frequently asked questions, and it's full of great info. I also notice on your website that you do more than just wedding cakes. It's loaded with a ton of photos and ideas as well. Well, I have found that... Uh once you start decorating, you absolutely get sucked in. There's just so much you can learn, and it's really so easy. So I make sure that I keep the bride informed on everything she needs to know, how to start uh, the planning process, how to start the selection process for her cake. And I write for a couple of national magazines, and the type of information that I gather through my research is uh, what are the trends, where are the trends taking us? And that's the type of information I like to give to the bride. So, yes, the website has more than just um, cakes. It has, uh, I believe, um, vital information to help couples make an informed decision. Uh, it's also about the other um, extended range of our products, like we do offer the delivery service. But um, the other side of my business is I do wedding cake. Uh, I do cake decorating training. So, yes, there is a, um, a, another side to Mary Vale that's very important because unless we can pass the craft on, then it's absolutely going to die away. I think, Mary, that it's important to, to realise, though, too, that uh, your wedding cake decorator such as you, uh, you're not just for weddings as well because uh, you do other milestones as well, don't you? Yes, we do. We do the celebration cake. And this week we've had five wedding cakes and three big celebration cakes. And the amount of effort that had to go into the three celebration cakes is probably, in some cases, twice that of a wedding cake. And what's a celebration but cake? A celebration cake can be a birthday, a, um, a christening, a confirmation. We have the um, corporate cakes, you know, the opening of um, sports complexes, this type of thing, uh, golden weddings, any type of wedding anniversary. Uh, so we, we cluster all of those together and call them celebration cakes. So in, uh, in de designing and developing and producing a wedding cake for someone, they can use you again for celebrations and all sorts of things. That's correct, yep. And they do. You know, repeat clients are very important to my business. It's called good word of mouth. <laughs> well, it is. And there are some good marketing people which know all those sorts of things, don't they, Mary? You're listening to Mary, Mary Reed, an interview uh, with celebrated cake designer from Maryvale Cakes and Crafts. Now, Mary, um, you had a, a special offer for us. Now, what might that be? Well, I mentioned earlier in the interview about writing for um, national magazines. I have um, three of the uh, what's called the Queensland Wedding Venues um, glossy magazine that uh, if listeners uh, or, or readers are interested, they can come in through your site and I'll post them out to them. But they're um, absolutely delightful magazines and in there there is a very good five page article on the changes and trends for wedding cakes. So I'll post those out. 
All right then, Mary. So what uh, brides can do, they can visit your site at maryvalecakesandcrafts.com.au. Send an email to Mary and uh, she'll respond to you uh, uh, with your uh, magazine. So I think that's probably the best way to do it, Mary. So mm -hmm. again, go and have a look at maryvalecakesandcrafts.com.au. Uh, you'll notice that there'll be a ton of information about there, not only wedding cakes, but a lot of other celebration type things as well. So you've got a ton of ideas and photographs that you might like to flick through. It'll be, give you a good idea um, uh, for your wedding. Uh, and the other thing that uh, Mary can do is her cakes are transportable in the state. So if you like what Mary's got to offer, please give her a call. Um, her number is on her website. Look, thank you very much, Mary. That was really interesting and uh, really valuable um, information about wedding cakes because as a bloke, I don't do a, do a lot of cooking in the kitchen. Well, Damon, you'll have to learn. <laughs> I will. Thank you again, Mary. I appreciate your time and I look forward to uh, chatting with you again. Take care. Okay, Damon. Bye now. Thanks, Mary. Bye.